this program there, which, called, which is called Motionbox. Motionbox is a, is a program I've been coding for a few years now, full time, and it's a video browser. Uh, I'll let you check it out if you want. Uh, it's in the description. Uh, what I want to do pretty much with that is very simple. Uh, instead of using the web browser to play your video content, what I want to do is I want to do software built from the ground up for the internet age, which is pretty much a horizontal player instead of a vertical one. What that means is that instead of accessing a web page and then accessing an embedded video player, what this is designed to do is to let you access directly uh, videos. So instead of talking about it, I can show it to you right now. For instance, if I'm searching for, some, for something, maybe uh, I like the artist Madion, for instance, I can browse the, the, what I call the video network. The video network really is just the sum of all the sources that you can find on the internet right now, whether it's, you know, whether it's web pages, torrent files, or, you know, just local hard drive, any source. Uh, to me, when I see a source like that, I don't see some kind of raw source. What I see is a playlist. And so what I'm doing there is um, qu querying DuckDuckGo, which is a search engine, for Madion, and then I'm pretty much searching the site, and then I'm parsing the web page to only displays the the, uh, the the video files that I can find on it. Whether they are, you know, local video files, they, they can be raw video files, native video files on the website. They can be links to, v to YouTube video files. And in the future, when the torrent implementation is done, uh, the video browser will also be able to access torrent. Uh, a torrent would be a playlist if you want. So the whole idea is instead of accessing web page, why don't you access playlist right away, and so that you, and so that you can find your your content extremely fast. So as you can see, it's very efficient uh, to to browse videos. It's it's really fast. It's really cool. You can open multiple tabs. Um, the interface is sure. I think it, it it it's very easy to to work with and it's very fast. It's very uh, performant to load, it's very efficient to, to load or to do a bunch of stuff with it really. And uh, you can also navigate through the related uh, videos like this uh, extremely fast and in an asynchronous, if it's the right world, uh, if it's the right world manner. So you can access to stuff really fast and just play a video you know, have it play and uh, open a new tab and keep browsing while you're playing pretty much. And going back to the to the video you were playing, uh, it supports lots of the feature that you commonly found on video on on web browser, like um, uh, previews and like backward and forward. For instance, here I'm at the middle of the video. If I do uh, backward, if I click there. I go back to the previous video and I can do that uh, with the video language if you like, which is pretty cool. So uh, as I said, it's really fast to boot. I can, I can just quit the application live right now and just run it again. And as you can see, it's almost instant to run, which is really required if you're doing something like a browser. And uh, right now it's, it's fairly fast and fairly efficient to boot, but I think it can go even, I think I, I could make it start even faster. And, um, you know, we'll see how this goes in the future.